Please consider subscribing if you enjoy our content and want to see more from us. Thank you. What makes a high quality man? It's an important question if you want to be one. What's more important is the answer to that question. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what traits you need to develop in order to become a high quality man. Every single trait directly affects personality or, more or less indirectly, allows the individual to acquire important life assets such as status, resources, mates, or friends. We've prepared a list of 10 traits of a high-value man. Number 1. He has a purpose. When a man knows what he wants and likes, then it only takes a minimum amount of drive to develop a purpose. A purpose means a man has a why. And when a man knows his why he moves through life with confidence and purpose. He displays the charismatic leadership qualities of those who seem to know their paths, even when it's dark and difficult. It's especially captivating for those who don't know where they're going which, of course, is the vast majority. A purpose is what differentiates the men spending their evening watching football and drinking beer from those who work and plot to move ahead in life. Number 2. He has high self-esteem. Attention here. It's self-esteem, not confidence. Self-esteem is different. Confidence ebbs and flows depending on your results and skills in a given field. But self-esteem stays. Confidence is founded on strengths and results, while self-esteem encompasses losses and weakness. Number 3. He is assertive. Assertiveness is the sweet spot that allows the high-quality man to speak up for his rights without undermining others. Expect and demand fair treatment while treating others respectfully. Seek power while respecting others' right to self-determination. The high-quality man adopts this mantra of assertive communication, say what you mean, mean you what you say, without being mean. In contrast, the passive man is too afraid to speak and enforce his boundaries and that puts him in a weak position in life. Whenever the passive man meets bullies and manipulators, he lets them take advantage of him. And the aggressive man instead takes advantage of others' lack of power and assertiveness. He hides behind a facade of honesty and getting things done, but it's just a cover-up for bullying. Number 4. He is honest to his own value system. High-quality men don't indiscriminately accept value systems from others. There is no shortage of people telling men how they should behave these days, religions, women, mom and dad, red pill, this or that author, and the list goes on. High-value men listen attentively to them all. But, ultimately, they build their own value system and have their own moral compass. That's what they stick to. There are many different value systems that can make a man high-value. For example, high-quality men, don't get into a relationship if they want to sleep around. Don't promise endless love if they don't plan to stick around. If they promise something, they will do their best to make it happen. And if they get into a relationship and promise monogamy, they'll try to stick with it and demand the same back. Number 5. He takes responsibility. The locus of control is the degree to which people believe that they have or don't have control over their life. Internal locus of control and external locus of control. Internal locus of control means you believe you are in control of your life. External locus of control means you believe life events determine the course of your life and you don't have control over them. The locus of control determines whether you feel like you're at the helm of your life or like a castaway in a rudderless lifeboat. And high quality men feel like they are at the helm of their lives. Taking responsibility starts with your own life first and foremost, you take responsibility for your current station in life and for where you want to go. Great leadership is an extension of this principle. Great leadership rests on responsibility and a sense of ownership. It's the responsibility of taking care not just for oneself, but for those around, and the feeling that you can help your group with your leadership. This is also the best and healthier way to be a leader in your relationship, which in turn is the healthiest of also maintaining attraction and, as a side consequence, control. Number 6. He is emotionally intelligent. 
Emotional intelligence includes many important personality traits that make people successful both in life and in relationships. It includes Self-awareness, one's own emotions, drives, personality, passions. Self-management, deferring pleasure, staying power, grit. Social awareness, other people's emotions and social dynamics. Relationship management, building and managing positive relationships. Although some psychologists contest the existence of emotional intelligence as a measurable trait, we can all agree that the above subsets of the emotional intelligence trait do exist and that they vary from person to person. All the above are important qualities for a high-value man because they heavily influence his ability to acquire social status, move forward in life, develop as a man and finally, effectively relate with others. This includes his ability to acquire friends, gain allies, and develop healthy relationships with women. Number 7. He takes care of himself. Driven men with a purpose look at themselves as if they were machines. And they have the mindset that the more they take care of the machine, the farther they will go. Also, they know how things work, and they know that the dichotomy of being or appearing is nonsense. The two feed into each other. Everyone judges the book also from its cover, so you also need to take care of that book cover. So high-quality men always eat well, exercise and keep learning and investing in themselves. High-quality men are like a high-quality wine. You meet them today and they're good. You stick with them and tomorrow they're very good. You stick with them until the day after tomorrow and they're great. Number 8. He generates his own self-esteem. Why is this important? Because as long as you depend on external forces to prop up your ego and self-esteem, you will always be dependent on those external forces. And, of course, dependence is the root cause of all potential weaknesses. Now, granted, few people if any can reach a level of being completely independent of results, the external environment, and other people's opinions. But high-quality men have much stronger control of their own self-esteem than most other men. These high-quality men are not afraid of standing up for what they believe in because they don't need your approval. They look like they have stronger inner conviction than anyone else, and everyone looks up to people with inner conviction. Especially in times of uncertainty. They are a rock in the hurricane. Number 9. He knows power dynamics. Power dynamics are advanced social skills. And you don't get to high quality without being advanced in some crucial areas of life. And since humans are social animals, social skills is one of those areas where you need to reach an advanced level, no matter what your chosen life path is. High quality men know what's fair and not fair, what's friendly and what's rude, and what they can take and what they will not take. And they set and enforce their boundaries accordingly. The high-quality man is not a too nice guy afraid of standing up for himself. And when someone crosses his boundaries, he will let them know he's not cool with it and that he has to insist on the limits he thinks are fair. He will also do it with higher-ups because he doesn't take gratuitous meanness and disrespect, not even from a boss. High-quality men know that disrespect is a slippery slope and if you allow it to happen once, people lose respect for you and they will keep doing it. They know it's a risk, but their self-respect and their moral code is worth more than a job, plus high-quality men can usually get good jobs anyway. At the upper echelons, high-quality men will also defend the boundaries of the people they care for and the people they take responsibility for. And of course, needless to say, they demand fair behavior at home as well, and they take no disrespect. If their spouse cheats, she's out. And if she threatens to break up, they know how to handle it. Number 10. He has a growth mindset. Several researchers outline two different approaches people have to skills and talent, fixed mindset and growth mindset. Fixed mindset people believe their qualities are set at birth and carved in stone. You are who you are, and there isn't much you can do about it. People with a fixed mindset shy away from challenges because losing means they're bad and that would hurt their ego. These people are highly outcome dependent and when they fail, they make a lot of excuses because they feel the need to cover up their lack. 
It's difficult having open discussions and honest feedback with fixed mindset men because they are always guarded and take things very personally. Growth mindset people believe they can learn and grow. They seek learning and growth opportunities because failing does not define them. On the contrary, failing is the only way they can improve. Men with a growth mindset move forward in their lives, are open to feedback and criticism, and are generally happier and more pleasant people to be around. Finally, keep this in mind. Almost everything related to humans is about balance and trade-offs. You could take almost any single positive and, when you take them to the extreme, they would become a drawback. Taking care of oneself to the extreme crosses into narcissism, too much vulnerability can become an excuse for ineffective crybabies and sticking to one's values no matter what can lead to big mistakes. Which trait is the hardest to develop? Share it with us in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video give it thumbs up and share it with your friends. That means a lot to us and this way you are helping the channel to grow. If you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button and remember to click the notification bell. You can check our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.